Hello, I'm Jukis. So you just got your brand new Keylab MK2 uh, MIDI controller and don't know how to set it up using the Logic Pro 10. So here's some quick tutorial of how I'm using it. Here's what you need to do. First thing first, you need to open the MIDI control center. Go to the device settings and then under this section make sure your DOM map is set to logic and DOM fader mode is to jump and then the second thing you need to do is make sure you are on the DOM mode and then you need to press the DOM button hold it like 3 seconds and you see the light is blinking using your control joke wheel you will need to set it to logic as I did here I already set it up and then click to confirm on the logic you need to go to control surface and then set up I already map my button here so probably on your side you won't see this all you have to do is just go to the new and then scan all models uh, whatever this prompt is just click OK not the Arturia you can see here there is a couple of Arturia blah 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 here but don't choose it it doesn't work for me all you have to do is go to the here the Mackey designs just the Mackey control and logic control just click add and after that you will see it will pop up in here if you don't see the inspector tab on the left side here what you have to do is right click on the icon and then show high inspector and you will see this go to the devices section for the output port I already set it up all you have to do is just follow this uh, guide set it to the MK2 doll this one also everything should be fine for the color you can choose whatever you want it just for assigning some you know identification purposes basically just it and now your job will can be act as a timeline scrubber I can scrub easily super fast and all your transfer buttons should be works fine it's actually very nice to have you know you can scrub very fast using your jog wheel and also you can use the transfer button in here fast forward stop and then go backward okay so and also this is very convenient to have you can play your right mouse fader is will act as the master volume control within your logic and for this fader you can choose between track 1 track 2 track 3 to 4 maybe just like that you can stop it you can start record you see it's recording now and stop it and then you know the metronome button you can click it you can enable and disable the metronome go to the track on your logic stack one two three four just like that and then the fader notice the bottom left corner of the screen it will act like that really convenient to have and then the note will act as a pen, L and R that's it I hope it helps thank you I find you